back to another video so today i'm going to show you guys how i got this look using the express bleach and 40 volume developer and y'all through this video i would not be doing too much talking i'll just let you guys watch as i go i'll come in here and there letting you guys know what i'm using or, or what i'm specifically doing and y'all i'm sorry if the two side pictures are throwing y'all off and taking away y'all concentration but i forgot how to record the correct way or i just didn't remember to recorded the correct way but this is what we have for now and i promise i'll do better for the next video i'm gonna have y'all ready and good to go baby but yeah so y'all just sit back and watch the video <laughs> Alright y'all, so I know y'all wondering why I'm trying to flatten his hair out with a um, curling iron and a comb because my hot comb went out after about like four years. So we got to do what we got to do, baby. I had ordered me another hot comb. It'll be in soon. So stay tuned. Not me rhyming, but uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. <laughs> Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, I'm parting out my two pictures in the front so I can get two strips of blonde in the two pictures on the side. And I'm using the aluminum cord to speed up my process. Okay, so now I'm going in with the um, bleaching developer that was shown in the beginning of the video. And I'm stroking the bleach into the hair. And I'm not going to go past the aluminum foil because I do not want to get the bleach onto the root. And I'm just going to keep going down with the bleach and blending it in, trying to get it on every piece of hair. Make sure you comb through and continue to apply more bleach as needed. And get all the way down to the ends. Then you're going to fold it up and fold your foil and let it heat up till you get the blend that you want. Okay, so I put the hair back into a ponytail. It's like one of my ways to do ombre and not receive a harsh line going straight across with your bleach or your colors like meeting together. And you just got to make sure that you comb through and get the bleach through each piece of little strand of hair because the little pony, once you put it back into a ponytail, the hair is thick and you have to just maneuver your way 
all the way through with the bleach so you can get each piece of hair and not have no dark pieces on your blonde. process that I did for, for those two pieces and fold it back up so you can get lighter. And as y'all can see the smoke coming from the bleach part of the hair, I told you it moving forward in the process and it attracts a lot of heat. This is just a little bit of amount of water that I use for the um, and my bleach in so I can get that brown because I don't want it to be too light. I want it to kind of be between the dark at the top and then the blonde at the bottom. So I'm just gonna use a little bit and mix it out into a hot water. Tell me inside out, I'll make my heart beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality, everything you do. It's me, love, everything about you. Your smile, your style, so fly. I can't deny, I got to push on you. That's true. And I had to get my client comfortable because her neck was hurting, so I had to get her right and sit her on the washbowl. So now I'm going to pull out those two strands, two pieces of hair in the front, and we're gonna wash them out with some purple shampoo. It don't matter what kind of purple shampoo, blue shampoo, whatever. But we're gonna wash that out with the rest of the hair once it have turned brown. Then we're gonna wring this out so we can get ready for plucking. Okay, so I've already plucked this side and I'm going to go to the other side in a minute and show y'all how I plucked this side, but, well, I was gonna show y'all, but my video cut off. So y'all like, comment, and let me know if y'all want me to make another video with plucking included. If y'all show me some love, you know what I'm saying? I got y'all. Your love, 
Now we're going to go in with some heat protecting spray. I'm just going to spray a little bit here and there, not too much all around the wig. And once I'm finished spraying my heat protecting spray, I'm going to go in with some light oil serum. I don't know if this for heat protecting spray or not. I just be buying stuff I be seeing, but I'll check the next time. And wash me over until my well runs dry. Send all your sins all over me, baby. Make sure y'all press y'all hairline down real good and flat. I'm pressing it down with this curling iron, but curling iron or a high comb, it don't matter. Just make sure you get it flat and straight. I just wanted to show y'all the back of the hair, the color we received when it dried. I think it came out pretty cute. But okay, y'all, so from now to the end of the video, y'all just watch the curling and styling process because I talk way more than I thought I would. So I wanna run y'all in this all. So thank y'all for watching. Be no one else. You're all I need. Personality. Everything you do. It's me to love. Everything about you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't let y'all go without letting y'all know this is the best hair free spray I ever used. It don't turn white like the other thing. I ain't gonna throw nobody under the bus, but yeah, get y'all some big head hairspray and get y'all some MD collection wax sticks for y'all flyaways because, period. <laughs> Until my will runs dry Send all your sins all over me, baby Your love, your love. Is the one and